Hello friends, Marcy here. I know you recognize um, this packaging and I'm so excited to receive it today it is Tuesday the 12th um, of July. And last week on Monday night, July 4th at 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time, I ordered from Galen Leather. I received um, by 5.30 the next morning on the 5th, I received a shipping notice. Um, and then the package arrived at my doorstep Friday morning, Friday on July 8th. Um, I had ordered another order the next day after my first order the 4th. I ordered a second order on the 5th and I kind of wanted it the next day, but Friday was my first order, so I thought I'd get it Monday. It was expected Monday, but there was a shipping delay. And so I received it Tuesday with the notice of shipping delay. And um, it said there was a international import, I forget the notice on the shipping delay, international import, um, international import inspection, I believe it was. And so it sat in Nashville, Tennessee from Saturday the 9th until Monday the 11th and it was shipped on out to Dallas. So for two days it was in Tennessee. Uh, not Nashville, Memphis, I'm sorry. Um, for two days, it was in Memphis, Tennessee. And the only thing I can figure about the difference is this has a bottle of liquid ink. And I think the liquid was causing them to do some further investigations. So I'm going to get into this package, pull out the materials, turn off my fan because I was hot and I just realized that there's a noise. I'll be so, right Here's the items and I'm ready to get into this. I'm gonna start here because I love these little zip pouches. Um, I started using them in my tote um, bag to carry some smaller items. Um, very, very useful to come in. They'll come in handy for many uses. And our story. I love um, the text. It looks like the handwriting. And Please read the story. Um, I've shared this in previous videos and I encourage you to go to their website and read the story. This is an amazing company, um, GaylenLeather.com, if you don't know. So, um, the little <laughs> funny story, the first time I picked one of these up, I didn't read the, I couldn't understand the language and I assumed it was a tea packet. <laughs> Um, the next time I opened, I saw it was in English and I see that it's a refreshing towel, but it happened to be, that one happened to be lemon and I thought it was a lemon, um, tea. So this one is ocean refreshing towel. And I appreciate these cause I carry them in my, I carry them in my tote currently in another one of these zip pouches. So, um, an Earl Grey tea bag. Very much appreciated. I love, love, love my tea. And I love, love, love my coffee. I've enjoyed a few of these um, just as a relaxing treat to myself. They are wonderful. So I'm anxious to have this one. So this is uh, like a journaling card, postcard, Istanbul. I would phonetically pronounce that as Bosphorus Bridge, but I could be wrong. And oh, this one doesn't have uh, writing on the back as some do. So this one's blank, I can reuse. And I'll put this pouch aside. And this pouch is actually an item that I ordered and I'll talk to this um, after I share some of the other items. I added this to my order and it is Galen Leather Handmade Leather Balm cocoa, shea butter, and almond oil. So we'll talk about this again in just a few minutes. I'm gonna move that aside. Um, this is, I was anxious to receive uh, because I've been collecting. Oh, uh, let me get into this beautiful box. If you haven't seen this beautiful box before, I love the design of all the boxes. Um, it says handmade Galen leather Established 2012, burnished edges, hand stitched, well aged. And it's a wonderfully decorated box um, to use for storing your items or to reuse for other items because they're very, very sturdy. 
And this I was anxious to receive. So this is an A6 um, cover. And I'm looking around to see, I did not get out my A6. Oh yes, I have it here. The one that I intended, intended to put inside. So I, um, oh, that's softer than I expected. Wow. Okay, look at how flexible that is. Ooh, I'm impressed already. So I just wanna slide this little sleeve off. And real quick, this is undyed. It was uh, made on July 6th by Yousef. It has care and cleaning and then their leather information. So we'll put this aside and, I, oh, wow. I, I'm really like, I'm really impressed at how um, flexible this is. I assumed it was going, going to be a little more um, firm. And the reason I'm saying that is because last week in my other order, I received my Galen Leather Wallet and it seemed firm, but understandable because it is smaller and uh, more tightly sewn. It's a smaller item, um, but I have my um, Hobonichi Weeks Mega cover and it just seems to be more firm in the hand. Um, of course, right now it has items in it, but I guess maybe because it has layers and layers of leather, I don't know, but I am, I am impressed. I think this is more flexible than this. I don't know. Okay, so this is an undyed. Let me show you how beautiful it is. Um, the whole item front to back, those beautiful lines are just gorgeous. I'm glad they selected this piece just for me. It's like it had my name on it, right? Oh, love it, love it, love it. Okay, and the Galen Leather logo is stamped embossed on the back. So inside, it does have card slots. Um, let's see, I'll pull out my library card here and show you they are intended for um, vertical use on the card slots. One in the front and one in the back. Oh, that one seems to be not, there we go. It was just um, connected a little bit there. All right, so they're intended for vertical use. It does have a pen loop here, which the way this pen loop is created, it's quite nice because if you didn't want to use it, um, it could remain fairly flat in the cover because it's a piece of leather that is cut out of this pocket. And then they just added some uh, elastic to create the pin loop. So that was an ingenious idea. They took this piece from this piece, so it's it belongs there, right? Um, all right, I do wanna put a large pen in there and I'm thinking about putting my narwhal um, but it's in there on the table, so I'll go grab it. But real quick, I wanna show you, uh, I in, I, per, I purchased this for my Wonderland 222 A6, and this is a planner. Um, it does currently have a um, Lauren Phelps design clear cover on it. That's Lauren Phelps design clear cover, so I'm going to try to insert it here with the cover on. I'm not sure if that'll work because it wasn't intended for that. Okay, so I will remove it. Either that or let me try. I do have an, an unused A6 Stology I could try in there as well. Um, I'll try both just uh, because the Stology has more pages. So let me pull out the A6 Wonderland 222. Okay, so I've pulled out the A6 Wonderland 222 from the Lauren Phelps Design uh, clear cover, and I'm going to pop the back cover in here. Wow, the color of this, the outside color of this cover is just amazing, right? 
it looks like it was they were made for each other okay so you can put um just the back flap into the cover and close it up so you have use of this here or you could actually put both uh the front and back cover inside um let me grab my pen and show you what that looks like so this is a nice size for this notebook i love it and can you tell i'm having fun Fun, 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 touching that leather. So here is the my Narwhal um, pen. I like to use pens that do not have the rubber grips on the bottom because they kind of cause a friction. And right here, I do want to show you that I'm going to turn the clip around to the elastic side so it will slide in more easily. So here we go. This is the cover with a pen installed in the loop. Now I'm going to show you in case you're curious about this A6 cover, I do want to show you what some other um, notebooks, how some other notebooks may fit inside. So I do have the Stology that I will um, show you the fit, but also I have the, to the Hobonichi. This is the Spring Start. I went and pulled it out of another cover. So this is the A6 Hobonichi Planner. And if it's not, if it doesn't have a lot in it, you can see that, um, how it fits this notebook. And then I'm gonna pull out this one and pop in Nostology. Just so you can see how any one of your favorite notebooks um, may fit. Okay, so back cover of Nostology. There we go. Each time I put a notebook in, it slides in and out easier, more easily because, you know, it was new, unused, and I'm really putting it to use now, right? <laughs> so here we go. Let's try the pin inserted one more time. And this is what the A6 Dology, how it fits inside. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? I'm so pleased with this purchase. Amazing. Okay, so I wanna put this aside and open some more stuff for you um, and talk about some other items. And wow, what a wonder, wonderful, wonderful purchase. And let's, oh, okay, this is some notebooks. Let me get some help getting into um, this package. Tape. All right. Wow, this one was uh, packaged and double packaged. Look at that. Um, really set up well for traveling from another country with some good protection. All right. So this is the everyday notebook, and this is uh, A5. Um, one of the reasons I purchased this is because I've been doing my swatch book in my Hobonichi Weeks. And you know that paper has a cream color to it. And I've also been adding um, ink swatches to some white copy paper within the same book. Um, but I realized I, I really need to, to use swatches and ink samples in notebook paper that I'm familiar with using every day. Wow. I like that. So I got, I'm talking away and I'm missing some important points here. Um, there's a little ribbon pull here to open the um, book and inside it says Galen Leather Company. The brand is celebrated for stationary quality and ingenuity. So their packaging is just beautiful and amazing. And this has like a magnet closure here inside. Wow. Quality, quality packaging. Um, they could have actually packed up these books, um, put shrink wrap around them and sent them on, but no, they take um, pride in the delivery of their products. This is just amazing, amazing. I love this company, I'm so glad I found them. So this is um, Galen Leather, the Everyday Notebook, and this is a five size. When you purchase this, it comes in a set of three. Here's one, two, three, 
And also you get, um, this is a piece of leather. So it's intended to use, it also says smooth writing experience. There's a blotter. So this is intended to use as a blotter between your pages if your ink is wet um, and some guides. So it also says that this is hand bound. So let's look at some of the stitching here on the back. And inside. Okay, so I'm going to put um, the plotter page inside. This feels really nice. It's, it's thin enough to um, be useful, but thick enough to be durable. So perfect, perfect size. So this is a blotter page you can put inside to close your book if your ink is still wet. Ooh, the page feels very smooth. And these are writing guides. So you have a 10 millimeter lined on the back side, a seven millimeter lined, and it is listed on the bottom for you. And so, oh, they gave us, um, there's three, one for each notebook. So you don't have to reuse them in each notebook. That's, that's kind. So you have three to go into your three notebooks. So the next page is 10 millimeter graph and five millimeter graph. So if you're used to writing on graph lines on the grid, you just tuck this behind. You have your grid to write on um, for your writing experience, and then you can remove it and your page is blank, but everything is lined up. So let me show you some of the lined writing. If you use your writing guide inside, you tuck it and it looks like you're writing on a lined page. Um, I don't know if that show, showed up before when my paper was so far away. I'll try that again on the grid. So when you remove it, again, you have your blank page. Um, just to show you, I don't know if that showed up. I'm going to do this again. Get it close enough so that you can see. So the lines are there so that you can see them while you're writing. But then when you remove the writing, the line guide, you're clean. All right, this is amazing. I'm impressed with this notebook. And this is um, one of the... Uh, notebooks that I intend to start a brand new ink swatch book in. When I swatch inside my Hobonichi Weeks, which is now inside my lovely new um, Mega Weeks cover, and this is the end dyed from Galen Leather. Okay, so when I look inside here, real quick, I want to tell you about this band. Um, I had it already in my stash. Um, it was in some uh, previous Hobonichi order, so I just pulled it out and popped it on here. It has a little leather button or disc. There's two discs there um, with a brad, and you just swing it around your TN and then do it like that. So it holds your um, TN closed and that, again, I ordered from Hobonichi. So using that for the time being, um, I did insert my Mega my week's mega in here um and i moved out of my wallet i put all kinds of cards in here um gift cards mainly gift cards library cards and and such here um but then i got such a hump bulk that i didn't want them there so i took them out and put these little cards that i had in my wallet showing love they're from my local christian radio station and when you um, pay it forward you can also give a card to show someone um, a resource so that they can continue following Christ and get some more information. So that's what those are for. They were in my wallet. I thought, oh, these are thin. I'll just pop them in here. Um, and then I had some coupons and then this little uh, printout was in my little pocket planner and it is the getting things done method that I printed and it was, I took it out of another planner and just popped it in there. Um, I think I put something in here the other day, but I took it out. This is an Ollie clip down here waiting for me to use it. Again, Hobonichi ruler. Um, this is 12 centimeters. And if it's all the way down to just the tab at the top, so it's perfect fit for this pocket. And these are just some little Hobonichi, um, actually Midori, some little post-it notes. So they were in my other planner. Um, and here I do have just some 
checks and uh, things that are private. And here is nothing. Um, lots of pockets in this, it's wonderful. So my zipper, I do have, oh, some stamps and some uh, address labels in there and a check. So that is the wallet area, it zips up for securing your cash and such. And then in the back, I do have my divider from Lauren Phelps Design and I do carry uh, J. Urban ink blotting paper. So because I use my uh, Pilot Vanishing Point um, fountain pen in here and sometimes I just need to close it and blot. So I'm loving, loving, loving this um, Mega Weeks cover. Um, it feels wonderful in the hand. Love it, love it. I want to touch it a lot so that I can get some of my hand oils going and get some patina. Um, of course, if it's in my bag, this is my everyday carry that goes with me in my tote. Um, it won't get as much uh, sunlight, sunshine patina as some other items. Um, but we'll talk about that in a moment. I don't want this um, video to be too long. I have one more item in the unboxing to share with you and then I still have the promises that I told you I would talk about. So this is the reason I believe my, oh yes, this is the reason I believe my shipment was delayed for international import inspection. It's tools to live by, fountain pen ink. Oh my goodness. Um, I've been eyeing this for some time, wanting it, and there's several colors um, that are already out of stock that I have. I'm on the um, list to notify me when it comes in, but look at this. This is the top. Isn't it just like getting more and more exciting as we go? The anticipation. Oh, okay. I have to be careful. Yeah, I have to be careful. I was just so worried about this and shipment because I knew it was going to be very fragile. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. And this is a very important component of this whole system. Wait till you see it. All right. Um, I'm going to have to go slow here. I might even have to turn the camera off so I can be careful without having to spill. Oh, the glass top. Ooh, the glass marble glass ball glass sphere i know it's glass let's get in here come on oh it's clear so it's a clear sphere or glass marble um it's very important in the use of this ink bottle please okay i gotta put it somewhere safe i probably should have waited before i unwrapped it there we go all right and this seal so let me carefully follow the instructions because I know I have to insert that the crystal ball um, into the cylinder here, but I don't want to insert it in such a way that it falls and crashes and causes a, a break because this is very fragile thin glass. Isn't it gorgeous? And the ink color said red. Um, I was going to shy away from it, but it's looking uh, like a gorgeous burgundy. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so let me see how to insert the glass bottle. I mean, the glass marble. It doesn't say. Okay, yeah, it does not have instructions. It does not have even <laughs> pictures for me to follow, but it does show it here. I know I have to put the glass marble in there. Okay, so here we go. We're jumping in. Oh, let me move that out of the way. It's causing a shadow from the light. Um, we're jumping in. We're going to do this. So I've been so excited to receive this. And when the other colors are back in stock, I, I do want them because this is just a gorgeous bottle to put on display. I mean, that I'm not going to pack that uh, ink bottle. That's going to be on display. That is so, so, so pretty. And that all that didn't come off. Okay. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna put my, this is like a rubber seal. I thought it was gonna be hard plastic, but it is like a soft, um, bendable rubber. 
And I should have a paper towel here just because for emergency purposes, right? All right, I have to drop this marble in because it's going to act like um, a measure. You, when I ink my pen, I'm gonna measure up so much into the cylinder. So, oh, I gotta be careful. I'm a little, 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 oh, see, I didn't want that to happen. All right, and I'm not gonna get ink on this seal yet. I do wanna um, attach this cap and turn the ink to show you what happens with that marble inside. Okay, so you can see the marble, I turn the ink this way and it measures um, some ink up into this cylinder. And that allows me to dip my pen and fill it. So I'm going, oh, I just turned my bottle sideways and just dumped it right back in. So I have to be careful of that. I can't tilt it sideways to show you or I will, I'll show you as, there we go. When you tilt it sideways, you can you can uh, move the air pressure. And so air is gonna go back up to the top and the liquid back down to the bottom. But you can see the marble in there and you can see how it works. So when you do that, you have a full vial at the top of ink um, to fill your pen. Ooh, that is a fun, fun, fun pen bottle. Love it. Okay, so. Uh, moving right along because my video is getting longer. I'm so proud of that. Um, now I have ink on my fingers and I do not want to touch all my leather because I haven't conditioned it yet. Um, I do want to, I've been waiting on this leather balm to come in. I do want to condition um, some of my undyed leather just because I wanted to have some conditioning uh, for drying out. I do live in the heat of Texas and right now it is 102 degrees and sunny it's very hot and we've had 20 days of over 100 degree temperatures um, so far this summer 20 days already um, and we're on you know we're on the path to breaking a record uh, last year at this date July 12th we had zero we had zero days over 100 and now we've already had 20. So I do know in my um, heat that I do need to protect my leather. And I do want to start with the smallest um, items that I have and work up to my large tote. So I'm going to start with either the wallet. And I'll have to do this in another video because it's getting really long. Either my wallet or my uh, zip and slip um, pin case. So I'm going to start with, and I'll do this on video with you. I'll come back for that, but I'm going to start with some smaller items. Um, this happens to be the lightest of my undyed purchases. I'm not sure why this item is so light. It's so much lighter than all my others, but um, I do want to add some protection. We'll come back and we will leather balm some of my undyed leather together. So thank you very much for, for spending some of your precious moments with me today. Be blessed.